Okay, so today we are going to update the camera firmware for the H501 SS. And as you see right here, I have the folder for the new firmware. And this is all the new Compass versions. So if you have the new version with the new Compass, you already have this firmware. If you are installing the new Compass, you'll need to install this firmware and Hubson recommends you use the new Compass firmware, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the new camera firmware with this package. You can also use it with the previous package, although I do not know that you will see a difference. It was made for this package here. So if you install this package, whether you have the Compass or not, it will work on your quad and then you can install this camera firmware as well. First thing you wanna do prior to installing it is you need a micro SD card. And I've created a document in here that gives you step-by-step -step -step instructions. And you need a, to use a class 10 or above micro SD card only preferably SanDisk, and then the reason for that is Hubson recommends that just because we know it works. If you use generic ones, we can't promise it works. You're gonna format it FAT32, so absolutely nothing is on there. And then we're gonna load the file that says FW underscore update. We're gonna load that file on there. And then you follow the rest of the instructions, which I'm gonna show you in the video as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to format it. I have it in my USB drive E and I'm going to right click it and click format. And then make sure it says FAT32 here. Click start. I get the warning that says it'll erase all data. Okay. And it's complete. So now that I have downloaded that or formatted that, I'm going to close all that out. And we are going to actually open up the file. We do not want to load this file on the micro SD card. If you recall from the instructions, it says only install this file. That's a mistake a lot of people make. Some people will install this right here and it, it won't work. It won't do anything. And then Another thing that they do is install the contents of this folder and copy and paste that in there will not work either. You can only upgrade the camera firmware if you put this file on the micro SD card. So I'm going to right click this and copy it. And then we're going to go to USB drive E and paste. And it's putting it in there. So now we have it installed on our micro SD card. That's all you want on there. You don't want any pictures, any videos, any other files. This is the only thing you want on your SD card. So from here, we'll take the SD card and we'll install the firmware for the H501 SS camera. Okay, now we have all the files or the file on our SD card to upgrade the camera. And what we're going to do first is we're going to plug in the trans uh, controller. Uh, I can't talk today. We're going to plug in the quad and we're going to show you what it looks like on a normal startup. You get the red light. Then it turns off and on and flashes. So that's your, your normal procedure when turning on the H501SS. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like when we actually do the firmware upgrade. We're going to unplug the battery. And we're going to take our micro SD card and we're going to slide it in the slot. Now we need to plug the battery back in. And watch what the lights do. This is different from what the SS does. I mean from what the A does. Different color light. 
light comes on turns off now you want to wait and make sure it doesn't turn back on and turn off the firmware is not installed until that light goes off and stays off sometimes it can flash one time like it just did sometimes it can be two times three times four times it's different with every quad i think it depends on the previous version that you have so in this case it looks like we're done and it's already installed uh, it probably went faster on here because I already had the new camera firmware on this quad. So if you have a SS with version 1.1.1 and you go and upgrade to this new version, which does not have a version number on it, um, it should give you more flashes. It may, it may not, but we, uh, we have successfully installed the firmware. So now what we want to do is we want to unplug it and we're going to look at the menu on the transmitter. Take this SD card out. Delete the contents. You don't want to have this. If you have other 501 models, you don't want to load this on, say, the H501A. It will mess up your camera firmware. So delete the contents. Keep them on your computer. So now let's power it back on get the transmitter turn the transmitter on so we have the transmitter on and we're going to go into the menu by sliding this down and long pressing the right button now we're going to go down to show version Okay, so now on this controller, unlike the advanced controller, it shows you a camera version. This is not your firmware version. So camera version 30.84.84, it says the same thing if you have version 111 or this new version. That is not your firmware version. So basically ignore that. So, you have no way of telling that you have the new camera firmware on here. So, main important thing I want to show you is ignore that and there is no version put on the menu. So, if you have this firmware, you have the new compass. If your quad came with the new compass, you're going to have this new firmware and you'll already have the camera firmware on there and not need to do this upgrade. If you install the new firmware, or I'm sorry, if you install the new compass and then install this new firmware, you can install this new camera uh, firmware, which is recommended with this package. So that's it. That's all for, or that's how you upgrade the firmware for the camera on the H501SS. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you do not subscribe, please do for future content. Thank you.